Hi, I'm Ryan Murray. I'm a professor and chair of the Electronic Media and Film Department at Towson University. So EMF started as an arm of the Mass Communications Department, um, and that was before my time, but I have some colleagues who were here back then. Essentially, it was, uh, it was a, a thing you could concentrate in as a Mass Comm major. We offer a lot of different kinds of classes, and we have a lot of different faculty who concentrate in these areas. So I've seen the class, I've seen the department shift as it relates to the demographic of the institution on a whole, but I also see that there's been a shift that's been happening in the department where um, there is a little bit more of a shift towards film and video and less broadcast. My name is Dr. Kalima Young and I am an assistant professor here in EMF. I teach um, African American cinema uh, principles of Film and Media Production, and occasionally gender and film here on Towson's campus. So I sort of straddle the line between the Film and Media Studies track and the production track. I've taught Experimental Film and Video, which is an art film class. I've taught um, Internet uh, Video, which is a viral video online audience kind of production class. Lately, I've uh, written and started teaching a class in virtual reality. Uh, media production and that's been a lot of fun to work with. I, uh, I guess out of all the courses I've taught, my favorite course to teach has been experimental film and video. It's all about um, creativity and kind of breaking conventions. There's sort of a whole alternate history of filmmaking that's outside of Hollywood and outside of uh, commercial interests and ticket sales and there's a lot of um, uh, self-expression and creativity and fine art spirit going on in the experimental film and video art world and that's kind of where my heart lies so I really enjoy teaching that class letting our juniors and seniors kind of spread their wings a little bit and, and break the rules we've been teaching them for a few years in their film degree. My name's Lynn Tomlinson I'm associate professor of electronic media and film. I really like teaching um, the animation classes that I get to teach I especially like the class I teach called uh, film and Media Analysis Contemporary Animated Shorts. Sort of a long name, but it's a, it's a film analysis class, but instead of focusing on live action films, it focuses on animated shorts. Another class that I love teaching is um, virtual reality uh, and immersive filmmaking. And um, I'm just really excited about the possibilities of a new medium. You know, this, this hasn't been around for very long and um, we're learning it together. You know, me and the students are learning the media together and we're kind of getting to decide what it can do and what it can be, what it can be for. And, um, and so it's a little bit like a mad science lab. You know, we're all working together and trying and, and breaking our projects and fixing them and finding ways to, to kind of enter this new medium. Students leave EMF, they, are, they have enough of a skill set to be able to apply themselves in multiple ways within the world of like sort of media and visual media making. Two other students who graduated from our program have made a name for themselves on YouTube, uh, Slice and Rice, uh, Gloria and Matt. They graduated from EMF and then immediately set out to do their own YouTube channel. And it's really successful and exciting to see, you know, just all the little things that they learned how to do here and how they've taken it really to the next level. And, and made a, a, you know, a career for themselves from it. Once students understand sort of the mechanics of storytelling, then we start thinking about the equipment and the ways or whatever kind of methods they're going to do that storytelling. So that means if you're moving into, if you're in film, video, digital studies, things of that nature, you learn about cameras and how to operate multiple kinds of cameras how to operate multiple kinds of lights, how to operate multiple kinds of microphones, how to take advantage of like the software in your editing for visual effects and animation. So all of the things that you would need to be able to tell, take a story from a seed of a thought to something that comes to fruition. But another cool thing that I've seen really expand in the last um, 10 years or so in EMF is just like a continued drive towards making sure our students have access to a breadth of experience but also that they get exposed to a lot of other folks' experience, a lot of diversity in what they're watching and listening to and reading and writing about so that they are broader people. Every single professor that I've had in EMF has been fantastic. I think that's probably one of the strongest um, capabilities of the department is just that the staff, I mean, it, it, it's one of those things where if you're gonna teach this, you're gonna love it. Um, 
I haven't found a professor who's not passionate about the subject, which mm -hmm. I think anybody who, who goes into teaching um, in, a, in the film major would be passionate about it. So I think that's probably one of the strongest assets that the department has is his professors. I have uh, two documentaries I'm in post with, and one of my projects, like I'm literally working with other faculty members who are doing uh, production sound on it, and one's doing animation on it. Like we work really well on each other's projects and people are willing to help out. So it's a nourishing environment. My own research goes in a lot of different directions. Uh, I make short animated films. So I've had a film on the festival circuit, a short music video that's gone all around the world. That's kind of wrapping up its festival circuit and it's online. That's called 10 Degrees of Strange. I've also been working with one of my colleagues, Dr. Kalama Young, on elements for her documentary. So I've been doing some animation uh, for, that's going to be part of that film. Um, different media that we didn't have before, you know, we've expanded our curriculum um, into different um, parts of kind of the socio-cultural landscape that we didn't have before. I think EMF has um, been really forward-thinking in terms of representation um, and diversity. There's a lot of uh, classes that specifically get into the way that the arts can be a platform for people to get their life experience out. You know, that, that at one time our industry was really dominated by, you know, male dominated or white dominated or this or that, you know, demographic. And that in fact, there has been a really rich um, history in terms of uh, other voices, you know, utilizing the media to, to get their experience out and to help people understand one another. My favorite professor moment, I think would probably have to be with Professor Murray. Yes, I didn't have him till last semester. And I took him again immediately and I, I just love that man. He is so fun to have a class with. He makes lectures fun, he makes everything fun. And I just love the vibe he gives off. I think like, one of my favorite things is like seeing like when we would go in um, in the virtual reality class when we would like put the headsets on. You'll just see him just be like, oh yeah, and when everyone else is like confused. Like, I just love how he has the mentality he has. I can't describe him at all, but like, he is, I think, a great professor. And now being the head of the department, I think he's going to do amazing things. Professor Painbridge, he's he's definitely on my tail. He's he's a professor that I like to see because he's he's strict to the point where it's like funny and at the same time he's completely serious about what he does he likes to teach us he doesn't just like tell us what to do our faculty here at emf are interested in making sure people have both a hands-on experience and an aesthetic and theoretical background so i think it's a it's a mindset that's um it's sort of hybrid. I think we want to make sure we train great artists, great craftspeople, um, great thinkers. You know, so in an EMF class, it's not uncommon that you'll move back and forth between practical usage of software and equipment and then historical or uh, contemporary examples to see like, you know, who, who are the best <laughs> at doing this and what can we learn from them. Um, but also like social impact, you know, kind of uh, theoretical issues around what is the meaning of the art making we're doing. You know, some of it's more commercial and some of it's more, um, you know, driven by uh, self-expression or, or by political messaging or by um, like a, a kind of personal thesis or, or, but whatever the motivation, we want to make sure that students have a reason to make their work and that they're able to get their stories out and get their messages across. Um, so it's partially about learning the skills and it's partially about learning to amplify your voice and your message. The passion for making media, for studying media, um, film, television, broadcast, documentary, we're a really wide-ranging department. We have lots of different expertise. Uh, and so, yeah, I think there's a, it's a really exciting place to be. There's a lot to do. Um, you have to know how to work hard. You have to know how to collaborate and um, have sort of a vision. So yeah, if you're somebody who's interested in that kind of thing, then I think you should definitely come be part of this department at Towson. It's like, even if you just like watching movies, if you watch a lot of movies, I feel like if you get thrown into the EMF 
department, they will find a link for you. Like if it's behind the camera or behind audio in front of the camera directing, I feel like anything that has to do with movies or video or commercial or sports marketing, anything, I feel like if you really enjoy that, I'd say it's in for you. Seriously, EMF is awesome. And I think at Towson, students actually learn how to bring their stories to fruition, not just from telling the story, but literally the practical parts that go into it. And I think that that makes for more well-rounded storytellers.